Executive. This is Daytime Ottawa. I'm Dylan Black. How you doing? Good to have you here as always. Stanley's Old Maple Lane Farm celebrating 25 years. Very beautiful facility. Uh, tons of events happening this season, including a pop-up wedding to save you cash. Let's talk about that right now with Susan Faith LeCoupe, who is the Wedding and Events Manager at Stanley's. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? It's, I'm good. Stanley's is such a beautiful, oh, well, thank beautiful you very venue. Much. Uh, yeah. Where exactly is Stan's, Stanley's Farm? So we're about 25 minutes south of downtown Ottawa, just off the Boundary Road exit. So it's a little tiny village called Edwards, like blink and you miss it, mm -hmm. but we have 250 acres out there. So That's a lot of acres. It is a lot of acres. It's a lot of grass to, to get. I bet. Okay, is that one of your part-time gigs? It is not one of my part-time gigs, gigs, thankfully. I have a <laughs> staff that does that for yeah. us. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the history. So 25 years as, as this farm that's open to public. So, so tell us about the history of Stanley's Old Maple Lane Farm. So the farm itself I think was founded in the 1700s. Um, the current owners bought it from the Loney family in 1993 and have started it just as a sugar shack mm -hmm. and then somebody gave Earl the idea of running weddings and he's been doing that ever since. So mm -hmm. we actually celebrated 25 years in business on the 30th of June. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Quarter of a century of making people happy uh, and you have all kinds of events. I mean are, uh, what are the hours? Are you open year-round? So to the public we're not open year-round because with weddings people get kind of cranky if strangers crash their parties but yeah. during the spring so late February through mid-April kind of around Easter we're still a heritage sugar shack mm -hmm. and with us everything is done tap and bucket so you're not gonna find any pipelines or vacuum pumps or anything like that mm -hmm. so we still do everything the old-fashioned way mm. um, including horse-drawn sleighs yes and then weddings sort of run from that time like end mid-April to February when sugar bush season starts again mm -hmm. but during the winter we actually have Christmas events Mm -hmm. So we do a children's activity that involves a horse-drawn sleigh out to a little village where kids can meet Santa's elves and oh, that kind of wow. thing. And then you mix corporate events and team building and private parties and anniversaries and life celebrations. Huh. We're busy here. Lots around. going on. Yeah. We just saw some of the pictures as well of uh, some of the amazing, uh, well, weddings that have taken place. Uh, a beautiful location. Now you are a pop-up wedding. Yes. Th so this is unique. Uh, it's been, do you have a history of the pop-up wedding? Well, the pop-up wedding, I don't really have a history, but it's something that started in the States a couple of years yeah. ago. Um, and what it allows is it's an all-inclusive package that allows couples to save some money because mm -hmm. they're sharing the day with other couples, hmm. but still have a full-service wedding, including photography and food and usually something to toast with and a ceremony and a mini reception. Okay, okay, so, so that's the part that I'm confused about because... I understand that you're sharing the day yes. with so so how does that work exactly because this isn't like Vegas it's not like Elvis is there next no and it's not like I'm lining up four couples in a row and making them all say their vows at the same time yeah. so each couple <laughs> gets a two and a half hour window that's their own they get a private ceremony for up to 25 people at our gazebo wedding site which is gorgeous they have a licensed officiant to conduct the ceremony for them we supply the bouquet and the boutonniere and then after the ceremony they get some private wedding for, uh, portraits with Chantel Benoit, as well as a little mini reception featuring canapes and a champagne toast or sparkling cider if mm -hmm. they're non-drinkers. Yeah. Um, and then if they'd like, they could go elsewhere and have a bigger party with bigger guests. Okay, wow. So, so the primary reason to doing this is obviously to, to give a luxury day. It's a luxury day no it matter what, but, but it's at a, a huge day. savings. So what would you say the savings would be on this if they were to decide to do this? Well, for this package itself, if you were keeping it at the 25 person mark and doing this and doing it on your own, it would be about $7,000 after tax. And we're doing it for $2,500 taxes in. Wow. So it is a fantastic savings. A wedding in Ontario, or in Canada rather, over the last few years has been on average $25,000 to $30,000. So that's expensive. That's very expensive. That's crazy expensive. So this is uh, basically a way for people to save cash and still have those beautiful photos, beautiful memories, beautiful location. Uh, and $2,500, I'm guessing that's because 25 years. That's right. So it's on August 25th for 25 people for $2,500 in celebration of our 25th anniversary. That is so much fun. Okay, so how many couples or weddings are you hoping to do on that day? I'd like to do four. 
Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to turn anybody away. If I can get more, I can get more. If we do only two, that's fine too. Um, but ideally, we'd like to do four just to sort of take it. And of course, it'll be big on social media. We'll take lots of photos. You know, we want everybody to be involved and get excited about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what have you brought with you here today? Because I know that these are some of the, uh, not props, but some of the things that people will be enjoying on, the, on a special day. That's right. So these are, are artificial flowers because mm -hmm. real flowers, you know, don't like hot lights. But um, we have a local or a florist that's going to supply a beautiful, very neutral, like whites and creams bouquet for the bride okay. and a matching boutonniere for the groom. We'll be decorating the room um, in like blushes and ivories and creams with high-end crossback French bistro chairs and satin linens. So it's a very high-end setup something that would normally be an upgrade for most couples mm -hmm. to have at their wedding. And we'll be serving um, champagne and sparkling cider with a mix of hot and cold appetizers to sort of wet guest palettes before yeah. maybe you go on to a dinner. And of course, their professional photographer. So Chantel Benoit is gracious enough to offer us a fantastic package for these couples so that they'll have proper ceremony portraits mm -hmm. as well as having some personalized shots for after the ceremony. And I imagine the personalized shots would be taking place uh, or, or somewhere on, on the grounds of the They park? have nine and a half acres of gardens. Okay. We were just showing another, uh, another photo, photo of Chantel's. And she's just uh, incredibly talented and it would just make the day uh, sparkle for sure. So what's the process then? How many, uh, what, what are the times of day? So we we want to do 10 a.m., 12.30 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. So maybe starting with like a brunch style wedding, which they could easily then go and have a dinner elsewhere. And then with the 3 and 5.30, that would be, you know, more of like your evening cocktail. Still go and have a late dinner elsewhere if they like. They mm -hmm. have lots of time to do so. Um, and there's myself, fully licensed and certified wedding planner there on the day of to make sure everything runs smoothly for mm -hmm. them. Okay, so people should get in touch with you now because with only four spots available. That's right. Just uh, over a month uh, to, to, to get this organized. And they don't have to stress because literally they just need their marriage license and to show up. Yeah. Everything no else stress. is taken. No stress. That's we'll what take I'm care for. Of all that. That's right. Thank you very much, Susan. You're welcome. Stanleysfarm.com. Pop up wedding. That's right. Take care. It's going to be a lot of fun. More daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers Television.